welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. And I'm Peter. And Peter, for the very first time we met you, you've always been doing VTOLs, haven't you? Yes. Ever since I can remember, I've always been fascinated with the vertical takeoff aircraft, otherwise known as VTOL. Um, my very first one was the uh, V44. Um, it's pretty much like a quad mode in this, where you know the speeds of two motors slows down to two, and okay. vice versa, just to do all the quad stuff. Gotcha. And when I flip the switch on the radio, it stays on for like four seconds and then it goes right to airplane mode where all the motors stay steady with the throttle and I have differential on my rudder channel. Very cool. Today we get to check out an ARF version called the X44. So Peter, you've never made this. This is our maiden, yeah. right? Yeah. All right, let's see what happens. All right. Take off. This is very weird. Whoa, whoa, the okay. motors are moving. Yeah, because if you think about it, a quadcopter, the way it goes forward is it slows down a certain set of motors and speeds up another set. The way this thing goes forward is it actually It's keeping tilts, the whole body level. Yeah, it tilts the motors forward and backwards to, well, to control direction. That should make things a little bit easier, yeah. huh? All right, I'm gonna take it up and start transitioning forward flight because it's a little underpowered from what I'm feeling right now. This is just flying off a little 1300 milliamp, right? Yeah, 1300 milliamp battery and basically 24 gram blue wonder motors. It needs a lot of power to fly level. All right. Oh, this is sketchy. Oh, man. Now there's no rudder on this. It's still using the torque for yaw even with power yep. in forward flight, right? Yeah, it basically it speeds up the left side and the right side and vice versa for differential throttle. This thing is, I thought it would be screaming. It's not that fast. It has a crazy under cambered wing on it. Yeah. Oh, it just feels weird. It seems like it needs a lot of throttle to go anywhere because it looks like it's on the edge well, of the stall all the time. We got a ton of wind today too. Yeah, yeah, it's super windy. And this is a very, fairly light model to be flying outdoors at least on a windy day like this. Are you gonna transfer back? Yeah, let's transition back to hover and see how it behaves. All right, I'm come this way. And transitioning now. Well, I think the transition's pretty awesome. Oh, that was pretty uneventful. I did see one of the, the front motors stop though. Yeah, well, you up saw that? that? Yeah. I guess um, it was still having outside feedback from the airflow and the aerodynamics that it didn't really need the front motors to start to work, so it shut them off. That's insane. Well, that transitions back to hover. So. What's so you take it up first then? Oh, I get to crash it? Yep, you get to fly it. So are you scared at all? Yeah! <laughs> well, I, the other gyro, you know, I nearly killed that. Now, I'm pretty confident I'm gonna kill this here. Oh, it's but you, fine. But you brought it around like three times and landed it. So, I don't know, I'm a little nervous. Okay. Oh, you'll be fine, you'll be ready? Fine. Yep, go for it. The weird thing is, you go to transition <laughs> forward. All right, here we go. Open the switch. Nice. <laughs> oh, here we go. Is it sketchy? Oh, okay. Yeah. See, it's not that bad. It just seems a little slow in acceleration. It, does. it might be because of those props. Now I'm hovering it, but I'm. Yeah, it's definitely not the most powerful because <laughs> we got about 10 mile hour wind, and I'm hovering, but it's in four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see all those wings because it's got a lot of lifting surface too. We need to put a four cell on this thing. <laughs> I'm not sure if they're ready for four S. I oh. suppose we could try it. It's it's honestly like. You need a lot of yaw authority. Aileron, everything with the pitch controls feels pretty decent, but I'm at full throttle right now. I'm gonna go for some altitude and do All some right. foolish things. Yeah, I didn't do any stunts yet. All right, here's a roll. Nope, no roll. No roll. Try to invert it, see if you get upside down. I don't think I can. Oh. I noticed the gyros are active on all flight controls too, so yes. it, might, it might have uh, limiting, so it might not be able to do that. It's, it's actually incredibly easy to fly. Very little penetration. I want to put a force on this. Yeah. I th they run a lot of software in this too because everything is controlled with the gyros. Is that what it is? Yeah, because they, they have dampening on all the surfaces. Put it back in the hover. Let's all see right, it. here we go. I saw the prop almost stop again too. <laughs> that's, just, that's hilarious. So, you know the craziest thing is with the hover? I'm, I'm used to seeing the body pitch up and down. Mm -hmm. Incredibly easy to fly. It is so weird. Like, <laughs> yeah, I just moved it forward. That is a creepy yeah. looking thing. As far as a, uh, look at that. Nice. As far as a quadcopter, mm -hmm. very, very docile, very, yeah. very easy. I just can't get over the transition is effortless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But once you're flying, it it's like, am I, am I a quadcopter mm -hmm. or am I an airplane? You just don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, aerobatics, it wasn't having anything. Of yeah, that. it wasn't having like, none of that. No. It, it probably has <laughs> auto level a lot. So it's like, no, no, and no. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna check and I wanna, I wanna, let's take it up one more time and sure. see if we can find a, maybe, I don't think a higher C battery. What do you think would, would do it? Uh, 
The power plant on it though is, is fairly small. Yeah. So I wouldn't really rate it for more than what it's currently going at. I okay. might try changing the props out because they have like these flat multi-order looking propellers on it. So okay. they're not very dynamic as far as uh, dynamic thrust goes. Well, cool. Well, I want to see you push the limits and you're the kind of the VTOL expert in the flight test family. So uh, go sure. ahead and push I'll the limits. I'll fire out some more. I'll tell you, the one nice thing, it's not intimidating at all when it's in horizontal. Yeah. I get a little comfortable now everyone's yeah. blown it. Man, and it just doesn't move very good though. Yeah, when it's in forward momentum, the wings create so much lift, and mm -hmm. it just really doesn't penetrate much. Now, we do have quite a bit of wind today. No. It looks cool, though. It really does look cool. The aircraft of the future. Yeah. And this is kind of a present for our friends in Europe. Um, this model currently is not available in the U.S. This is something that's only available in, uh, in Europe and through distribution through Grapner overseas. So if this is something you like, let them know that, hey, I'd like to see this in the USA. There's a lot of very advanced technology in, uh, in this machine. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of cool. I saw like the Blue Wonder looking motors. Yep. Looks like a very practical air power plant. <laughs> that is hysterical. <laughs> it almost seems yeah. like it's always in a state of, of uh, horizontal, horizontal mode or horizon yep. mode, right? Yeah. I'm not sure if we can adjust it though, but that may be something I explore into because this uses a Grappner yeah. proprietary board. They actually developed their own VTOL software to fly this. And it's very user friendly, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Almost. It just, it's plug and play. I pulled out the box, I put the receiver in there. All the mixing functions were in there, like the servo slowing for the tilt and all the mixes for like pitch and stuff, all done. All so, pre programmed for yeah, it. Yeah, all you just put the receiver in there, check my throws, make sure they're going the right direction, and I just flew it. So, one cool thing about this is mm -hmm. most of the VTOLs we played with in the past are very difficult to fly, yes. and I was anticipating mm -hmm. something hard to fly. This is very easy. Mm -hmm. I would yeah. toss this in any of my kids' hands, mm -hmm. and I think they'd have a great experience with it. Yep. Because the reason why VTOLs are kind of difficult. It's mainly because they're just an airplane and a helicopter, and these are two different things that don't really belong together. And it's actually really nice that the, the Grapter thing actually flies and hovers and does both things fairly well. Maybe not in windy weather, yeah. you know? We'll, we'll try, try it again it. on a calmer day. You got it. So that wasn't really fair for the model. It was a bit too windy, so we wanted to give you guys a more better comparison on a calmer day. So we got the model back out, and we're about to try it again on a less windy day. So let's give it a go. Yeah, power's a lot better too. It's not it's not wasting as much battery trying to fight the wind. Forward flight. Oh yeah, that's much better. So as you guys probably noticed, it's flying through the air a lot nicer, a lot smoother, and it's actually moving at a pretty good pace now. It's still pretty slow, but at least it's going somewhere though. So it's it's calmer. It's not a, it's not a really high speed model. A bit slower, but still really stable and nice flyer. So the model still feels really docile, control is really good, but it's a lot smoother since uh, this model is got a lot of wing area and stuff, so it, it really does not like the wind. So if you guys get one of these, be sure to fly it on a, on a uh, day that's less than about 10 miles an hour worth of wind. All right, so I guess I'll try some more aerobacks and see if I can get it to roll over or even do a loop. Come on, loop, loop, loop. There it is. Upside down. Oh, it is not like that. <laughs> Yeah, so it definitely doesn't try to stay upside down. It, it's trying to roll out of it real, real bad. So it's not an Acro model, at least in its current configuration. I'm pretty sure I could adjust it somewhere in the board, but maybe I'll explore that in the future. All right, I'm gonna pop it back in the hover. Wow, it's really hands off. Watch out for the poles. Watch out for Alex. That looks super cool. I love the look of this thing too. Oh, that's cool thing about VTOL. You can land it right back at your feet and you don't have to go out and get it. All right, so that was really cool too. This VTOL is actually really nice for an out-of-the-box experience because uh, the thing in the past they built, it was, it was quite a bit of an experience. I mean, you had to go through and do a lot of things just to get it right. So hopefully we'll see more of these things in the future and uh, we'll see you guys next time.